Imagine your whole family being massacred during a random night, never to wake up again. This happens a lot in Mexico. Death due to criminal violence is a very common worldwide issue. Over 1.6 million people lose their lives due to criminal violence. One country that is facing this violent act of death is Mexico. Mexico has been battling the criminal violence and drug-related crimes ever since the early 70s, but recently ever since 2006. In the 1980s, Mexico was starting to see many crime groups and drug traffickers become assigned to different regions of Mexico, creating networks and trafficking routes. As more production and distribution increased, each group began fighting for territorial control, causing the mass amount of violence in Mexico. Drug and crime-related violence is an issue that needs our attention, or else Mexico will drown in the mass amounts of brutal violence. So, what has recently been happening, Mexican law enforcement has been trying to win the battle between many Mexican drug lords and their powerful clan that resides beside them. As mentioned previously, the whole reason Mexico is in this situation is due to the mass amount of crime groups fighting for territory. Although much hasn't been improved, what has been done is the Mexican government has declared war on criminal organizations back in 2006. When at the time, President Felipe Calderon launched an attack on the cartels with military force. Although it was unsuccessful, in 2012, President Enrique Peña Nieto revised the Calderon government strategy, shifting efforts away from violent exchange and toward improving law enforcement capacity and supporting public safety, according to Council of Foreign Relations. To summarize, in 2012, President Enrique Nieto changed Calderon's strategy and decided to focus their police force on public safety, safety instead of going to war with the cartels. You might be wondering, this is Mexico's problem, not ours. Why should we care? We should care because since Mexico is a country that is right next to us, this causes many different drugs, unfortunately, to be imported into the U.S. This causes the security and health of population issue for both countries. Not only does it cause these two issues, but definitely a reputation issue. This looks bad on America's and Mexico's side. Allowing drugs to be imported slash exported from each country definitely doesn't look good to other countries. This issue is unfortunately not going to be an easy issue to solve. Because Mexico is a huge country and this problem isn't just happening in one area, in Mexico, but multiple areas. So it's going to be very difficult to fully solve the issue. Some possible solutions is to raise more funding for the police to ensure the safety of other citizens. According to the USAID, also known as the United States Agency for International Development, which is basically a federal government agency responsible for foreign aid, the USAID collaborates with government, civil society, academia sections, to basically build community, improve job opportunities for at-risk youth. And overall, these would be very good ways to help those who are struggling and trying to avoid being part of a criminal violence act and bring a bit of light and sympathy to the corrupted cartels. There is a foundation called Alexia Foundation that brings communities together in Mexico and raising awareness on families who lost due to the bloody violence in Mexico. They also do accept donations to help any family struggling with this act of violence. Overall, drug and criminal violence is a serious issue that happens in Mexico and is unavoidable at any costs. Thousands of children and families fall victim to the violence that happens during every hour in Mexico. Not only that, but many citizens fall victim to trafficking drugs to different parts of Mexico and the world. The reason why we should care is because Mexico is drowning in the mass amounts of violence and drug exportation. This poses a threat to the U.S. security and well-being of other citizens since Mexico is very close to the U.S. A helpful way that both parties will benefit is to share what's happening in Mexico. If anyone is interested in further action, there is a website that helps families come together and help each other.